Hotels are very difficult places, actually, to deliver Wi-Fi. Difficult for two reasons. Uh, hotels physically are challenging. If you think about the physical nature of a hotel, what do you see? You see floors in a, in a vertical building. Most of the buildings are concrete and steel. Floors in a vertical building. You see corridors and you see guest rooms, and the guest rooms are typically on the outside of the building. What separates the corridors from the guest room in a hotel are thick walls. On the other side of the walls, you have a bathroom. Bathrooms are made in luxury hotels of stone, very dense marble stone. Doors are made of thick steel. And the other side of the door, you typically have closets, which are made of dense wood and full of clothes. Very, very challenging in order to be able to get a, a Wi-Fi signal through those uh, layers of, of materials in order to, into the place where the customer actually wants, where the guest actually wants to use Wi-Fi, which is typically on the desk or on the bed, but, but generally towards the other end of the room by the curtain wall of the building. One of the other things um, that we have to do that you, you don't know as a guest, we actually have to limit the amount of Wi-Fi that spills out of a building. So um, many countries actually have flyover um, surveys of radio emissions from buildings so that when we build a, a, a hotel, we have to promise that the radio emissions that emanate from inside the building don't go out of the building beyond a certain a certain uh, distance and normally that's only one or two meters so what we're trying to do is to deliver a, a 10 out of 10 5 bar experience at the curtain wall of the building but then stop it so it's 0 out of, out of 10 no more than 2 meters beyond that's a challenging thing to do the other challenge for hotels um, which again you don't really think about as a guest in a hotel but hotels never stop right? they're always open they never ever stop from the moment they're built to the moment they close. They're continuously in operation, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So what does that mean? Well, in a technology world, it means that we obviously don't build technology uh, and install it in a hotel when it's built and, don't, and, and then leave it for 30 years until the hotel maybe is rebuilt. We have to go back continually as technology improves and in increases in order to give that guest service experience that we want. We have to continually refresh the technology to a greater and more frequent extent than you would typically refresh any other service, any other attribute of the hotel. So we need to do that in a minimally invasive way. What that means is the less equipment that we can have in a hotel, the better, because it's easier and quicker to service. It takes less space. There's less, 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 fewer wires to pull, fewer ceiling tiles to take down, fewer um, power sockets to install, and so on. So what we're looking for when we do Wi-Fi, we're looking for the best possible signal delivery to the point of need, which is at the curtain wall of the hotel, and no, no further. And we're looking to do that in the, in the most economical way and the least invasive way. And typically, the least invasive way is the most economical because it requires the fewest access points. And with Ruckus, we believe we found really a very good solution. And we've been through most of the brands that you'll know. And we just think that Ruckus has an edge right now. It has an edge for a good reason. It has an edge because it understands what the hotel industry is trying to deliver. It understands a little bit more than most the physical architecture of hotels and its technology is well adapted to doing some of the things that I've talked about, to delivering that high quality signal in a directional way, exactly where you need it and nowhere else. And we think that matters in our business.